Kip's Corner. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Okay, so I'm not going to do any um, creative, any creating on this video, but I did want to share with you a new project that I'm going to start. And I'm calling this the Butterfly Project. So, uh, long story is, <laughs> short story, I had... Uh, so much fun with the Puzzled Birds project. There were 17 different plaques. I did the backgrounds all the same. Um, and while the sizes all varied slightly, they were pretty much um, very similar. And they were just assemblage pieces with the Puzzled Birds. There are a couple of them left um, in my Etsy shop. If anybody's interested, I think we're down to five or six that are left out of the 17. So a little over half are gone. Anyway... I decided, I came across this puzzle that looks like this. Gorgeous, right? So I decided to do another puzzle and there are seven, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, seven butterflies on here. But this time, what I'm gonna do with each of the butterflies is I'm going to do put them on different um, pieces and do slightly different things with each one. And I'm, while it's not fully baked and I haven't really started, I thought I'd walk through where my, what my plan is and what my idea is. And I'll show you the puzzle pieces. And some of these are really big. Um, I mean, you can tell the size comparison. That's the, here's this guy here. Um, here's the little guy up here in the corner. This is, let's see, he goes this way. This is this guy, and so it's pretty good size, right? Here's this one right here. I think this one might be my favorite. And then we've got the three really big ones. This is the guy down here at the bottom, and then the blue one here, which is pretty big, and then the brown and red one up here at the top. So each butterfly is colored completely different um, while they're all in the same style. Um, they all different and they're all different sizes. So we've got two small, two medium, and three large. And so what I'm gonna do is pull out the different backgrounds that I think I'm gonna use and decide which butterfly is going to go onto which piece. And then from there, I'll start collecting and deciding what kind of piece it's going to be. For example, one of them, I want to do the butterfly in the greenery with maybe a lot of metal um, flower pieces. And then another one I think will be sort of grungy with the rusted pieces. And then another one I want to do an encaustic. Um, and I also actually want to do a journal cover with one of them. And yeah, so you get the idea. All right, so what I'm gonna to do today is show you the different things that I have to, um, to put them on. So first off is I've got another one of these tags. This is leftover from, I think, a Christmas project or a Halloween project. This is a Tim Holtz, et cetera, board tag, and this is the medium, <laughs> and it's big. And so what I'm gonna do is figure out which one I think goes on which piece. I think that might work really well, okay? Next up is a journal. And while I don't have the journal started, this is sort of your standard six by nine journal size. These are hard boards, but, and I may or may not do hard board, but I think the keeping it or thinking about that size, and I really like this one on there. Um, and he might be end up at an angle, but I think that one is good for a journal cover. And imagine there's a pretty fabric or even a, a digital printout. Um, and in this journal will be a butterfly journal and I'm going to be using one of Tracy's newer kits, um, the Taddy Flutterbees, Flutterbies, the Taddy Flutterbies. And this is one, it's the same, I think two different sizes. This is just one printout from that journal. I haven't printed the whole kit yet, but you can see where I'm thinking this blue, just based on this one page, might be um, a really good one for the cover. And then I think it would also entail tattiness. <laughs> 
by way of rust. And this has a neat watercolor background. So, um, so yeah, that's the kit I'll use, and that's the journal cover. Okay, next up, I'm going to do two, two boards. Um, this one I think I'm going to do in the same fashion that I did the birds, where I have a lot of texture on the background and just an assemblage of pieces. And I'm thinking this might be a good one for that one. I'd actually rather, almost rather this be for the journal, but it's too big. Um, so, but I like that. And I think raised up with a lot going on, I think that'll be absolutely gorgeous. So that's that one. The next one, I wanna do an encaustic. So this will have an encaustic wax on it. And again, some kind of a cool background, maybe a printout or something that that's connected to. And I think this one, Will look really good on an encaustic background with lots of really pretty color behind it. So those are the four smaller ones and the ideas behind those four smaller ones. <laughs> I've got three pretty big guys left here and I want to, um, I'm going to use some pretty big pieces. So the first piece I'm going to use is an old fan blade I'm in the middle of cleaning it, so it's got some, you know, some stuff going on. Um, I actually hope those watermarks stay. stay. Um, I will probably, I'll either stain or paint this, and um, I'll probably paint this top piece, and I think it'll hang, I'll create it so it hangs from this piece down, and... And then I have this whole, of course, I'm not going to be able to get it in here, but this whole surface going up the board. And I'm thinking that it might be, this one might be really good to use on it. And it's going to be a bit wider than the board, but, um, or maybe even, I might, I might like this one better. One of these two will be at the base of the board and then I'll have the rest of the space to create. And this is where I'm thinking a bunch of metal flowers kind of creating um, a line going down and, and perhaps down and around. And then he's, he, she is in there. I kind of like that one. So that's the one I think I'll do there. Next I have two washboards this also is not going to fit in here in the screen um, but i got these at an estate sale this one is glass and you can see you can see that beautiful texture and then we've got a wood frame and this one i definitely like this guy being on here somehow I don't know with what else, but he fits really nicely on there. And I might even, perhaps, he actually goes this way technically. There might even be two of them on here. Ooh, I kind of like that. So maybe that's how I use those last two. Let me see if I can turn this. Let me see, let me raise up, try it just a little bit. There you go. So now you can see how the pieces might be used. I don't know if I'll put both of them on here or not. Um, I think that I'll definitely play around with how they're on here um, and then do something kind of cool in this space. But, and then I may, I have two washboards I have another one here, it's a different one. This is a complete wood washboard. Let me see if I can get that down. So, and it's also a little bit bigger. I've not cleaned it up at all, um, but it's got a nice space here too. And I actually think this red one might look really neat on here somehow. So, um, and this one, I could actually create a little shelf here. So that might be fun. So I may do two washboards. I may do one washboard with two butterflies. <laughs> Don't know yet. Not sure. But I these washboards um, will be fun, I think, just because 
it's a really, it's a nice, it's a nice space, nice canvas, if you will. Okay, that's the plan. So we're calling this, we, we're calling this the Butterfly Project. And, um, yeah, see, I may change my mind too. This one might, the smaller one might go here. That one might go there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we think. Yeah, that might. Mm. Um, so I will play around with the three bigger ones. They'll probably be the last ones I do. Sort of get my feet wet with some of these smaller ones. An encaustic, a textured background assemblage piece, uh, very similar to or, or pretty much like what I did the, the Puzzled Birds project. A journal cover, and I'll be using tattered but flutter flutterbys <laughs> from Tracy's shop, and then just a fun little big tag. And the, again, this is the medium tag from Tim Holtz from the Etc. line. So that is the butterfly project. So more to come. I, obviously, I have not started anything other than to put the puzzle piece together. I've glued them but I haven't sealed them or done any of that uh, work to them yet. And so that's next up. And then I'll just pick up one piece at a time. I won't start the journal until I get done with my mycologist notebook journal. And so as soon as I'm done with that one, um, then the butterflies would be the next journal that I'll start on or work on. So that is the butterfly project. So I hope you um, are with me. Look forward to more to come on it. It's going to be a really fun project, so um, stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.